But anyway, so let's just hop into the top six. Um, number six, Kevin, is William's song. When it all feels lost and broken And you find yourself alone Just know that fear is life's only way To see how much weight you can hold Uh, this song is about a man named William. Number Who five. Writes no. songs. <laughs> um, I just really love this. So- like, like we said, he has like some like rock sounding songs, and then he has ones like this where it's like a really calm country song, and it, he has like such difference between his sound and yeah, it's really a- a- cool. Absolutely. And this one, the the lines that get me the most that I'm just like, oh shit, yeah, this is a great song, is where he says. When it all feels lost and broken and you find yourself alone, just know that fear is life's only way to see how much weight you can hold. And I think it's it's like a really deep thought for a young dude making a country record. And I yeah. just think it's really awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, this one lyrically and just yeah, it's just a really fantastic song and uh it's from his first album and so you should listen to it. It's good. Um anything else on that one? Uh, I like it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Number five. Uh, more than you. I'll be your idle hand if you be my sin. I'll be the flame that drops you in. Just call me pain. I'll call me This one's about being more than you, Kevin. More than me. More than Jews? How just kidding. dare you? I'm just kidding. Don't sir. get us suspended from the internet. Oh lord. Please, please don't. We're we're cool. We're cool kids. We're the coolest of the kids. This is one of those that's like super rocky. Like yeah. So this one, uh, I really like. Ish. Yeah. So it's it's kind of alternative. It, this one is what I was referring to before, where it's got like some horns in it. And some shit going on, pretty sure. Unless my brain's really broken, which it <laughs> could be. Uh, but it's just kind of like a jam. And I don't actually know what it's about, but it's a jam. <laughs> yeah, it's he, he definitely does have the songs that are, ju- like I said, July. And I think his song, um, is it Monster, off of his last album too? Uh, it's also, mm-hmm. those are just like really... Not country, but really good songs, and I appreciate the variety, even though obviously that's always hypocritical of us when we're like, fuck this person for not making country music, but fuck this guy for, or this guy's awesome for not making country, but he he also can show that he does make good country, because the ones that are definitely farther down on the list that we're going to get to are super country songs and super well-written and just great songs, but yeah, songs like this are just kind of good jam songs, especially someone like you who likes fucking nate rate and jam bands like that and And people who jam fucking dave matthews band you fucking hippie (laughs) Uh, (laughs) yeah uh, no i understand that one the the hate for dave is real (laughs) his voice it's just the worst oh no i I have i have said on multiple occasions the worst thing about the dave matthews band is dave Dave matthews Matthews. yeah (laughs) yeah fucking dave matthews piece of shit uh, but yeah, I, just songs like this are fantastic. And it's one of those of just kind of the, it is the, it's kind of a cliche country theme of the, you're the good, I'm the bad. Let's, we kind of work that way. And it's just like, I'm the bad guy and you're a good person who brings me down to earth. And 
I mean, though it is a cliche theme, it is a theme that people can recognize and like agree with because there yeah. are people like that where it's just like I used to be a wild and crazy person until you kind of thing. And yeah, it is yeah that kind of thing. Um, number four is killing flow. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, you're you have to talk about this one I oh yeah no this uh this. is another one where it's just a fucking jam and i really love it because of that i don't totally know what the hell he's talking about there's a lot of like kind of biblical sounding things like he's talking about muck duck uh, yeah it's it's, it's it's it seems to me like he's talking about i'm gonna fucking die from something but something's going on and i'm going to to hell and some shit's going on. I don't know. But it's a fucking jam and I love the Dobro riff, so I listen to it a lot because it's just a fucking jam. Yeah, it is a hard rock song. It's just this was this wasn't even on when you text me like, should we do a top five or a top ten or whatever? I was just like, Well, I have fourteen songs to choose from. This wasn't one of the fourteen. This is just one I listened to very little by him. I think it's good. I don't he doesn't have a bad song, but this is not one I listen to at all really by him. But it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> uh, number three. Well, well said. Yes, exactly. Uh, so the top three. These are ones that I, all three of that I fucking love and do listen to very regularly. So um, number three is all that matters. I know we talked about this on, I want to say it was the Love Song episode, which is one of our most listened to episodes, and you should go listen to it if you haven't. Um, I'm pretty sure it was on that episode, otherwise it was on another episode, because I had talked about this one where it's a song about how your past doesn't really define you, and it's just like, all that matters is that we're together now, and what happened in our individual past doesn't matter because we're together now. And so the past doesn't really matter anymore. And if we're together in the past doesn't matter because we're together and the, the past doesn't matter. And cause we're does together. the past matter? No, because we're together, Kevin. Um, See, it's so- just, it doesn't add up in my head. There's it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just really love it. It's just a really good love song. And, I've been in love with this one since his first album came out. I think this is the first one I had saved by him and have been listening to it since I started listening to him. So I enjoy it goodly. Um, My stance is that love is dead. Kevin, you've never thought that before. What's changed? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Number two, Rain. Before I'm reload. Before the winds came. Before I talked you into taking my last name Now we're standing on the wreckage That we once called our home Asking if the pieces that once made us up are really gone There might be miles in between them Might not ever fit the same But if this storm brings you to me This is the sequel to The House Fire by Turnpike Troubadours. Um, <laughs> no. But it's I do love this one where it's just kind of like... Because uh, isn't the lyric like we're standing on the wreckage that we once called a home? And it's yeah. pretty much like... Uh, it's a very just... 
destroyed um he uses the imagery yeah, yeah the the imagery to describe the broken relationship and then uses like storms and things but then he says but if the storm brings you to me oh then bring the rain bring the rain so it's i think it's really really well written he uses a lot of well just you know, the i love i just looked up the lyrics i love just the very first line from the song where it says in this picture we were strangers just like we are now oh yeah and it's that is such a fucking amazing lyric oh yeah like i i wish i could write songs half that fucking good but um yeah, just looking through the song, it's just and it's just one of those really slow country ballads, and it just comes together perfectly. And I, yeah, this is per, well, I guess it's not my favorite. Well, actually, I think I ranked this one higher than you did. Um, I think mine was three on mine. So yeah, probably. this was number this was number one on my list. Yeah, this is my favorite song from this album. Even though what is number one on our list, which is also from this album, is also a fantastic fucking song. Yeah, but, yeah I, this one it's this one gives me like chills when I listen to it. It's so good, and it has like that ambiance and the rain playing in like the yeah. actual background of the song and everything. And yeah, it's oh, it's so fucking good. And it's funny because Dalton is kind of one of those like type party types, like Co Wetzel, where on his social media he's always like you know being rough and rowdy kind of thing so hearing a song like this just like when we saw co and he did tell it all town that song is just like this dude who shotguns keystone light with people on twitter yeah, yeah, yeah. like he's fucking up here singing this emotional breakup song yeah and that's what i love about like a lot of people in the, artists like, like this who can do that exactly that you like yeah. the, the get you a guy who can do both <laughs> yeah like me and kevin Nope, I cannot <laughs> write music. <laughs> Physically yeah. incapable of doing it. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a thing we do. Um, but yeah, so this is a fantastic fucking song. What else is a fantastic fucking song? It's our number one choice of the Dalton Domino songs you should be listening to is Corners. People like me have to live in hell to see if heaven's worth. Take the worst of. But if forgiveness never comes, I'll understand If I die, I'm gonna die knowing Who I was ain't who I am Yeah, I absolutely love this song. Like... You know, like, like like I said, there's a, there's a bunch of songs that he has that I I like a lot, but this one was one of them where like the first time I heard it, I like got stopped in my tracks at the the words of the chorus. They were oh, just, the very first line of the chorus is fucking yeah. It's amazing. it's a, the because people like me have to live in hell to see if heaven is worth it. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I wasn't even prepared to hear that line, and it's just, yeah. and it, it's just. It's unbelievable. I think this song is so well written, especially for a young guy. I it just blows my mind. Yeah, and even just the or the end of the chorus is if I die I'm going to die knowing that I ain't who I was. Like Yeah, who I was ain't who I am. Yeah, it's just yeah. an unbelievable bit of songwriting. I I yeah. Cannot really comprehend how you can create this. Yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to I mean, even if he does kind of pull cuz his first album was very country heavy it was the dobro it was the horns it was the yeah just very instrument like acoustic instruments whereas his second album that's the one that had uh more than you and july and yeah. monster which were more rock so even if he does kind of do that kit more kind of thing of get that fan base and then go to the music you want to do rather than what you're being told to do i'll be fine with it because even if he's not a country artist anymore dalton domino is a fucking great well, artist that's the thing he he He's one of those guys that, you know, without trying to sound like I'm too far up my own ass when I say this, but he's one of but those people where, like, <laughs> the term artist actually means artist, not yeah. just you happen to be called an artist because you make noise and that noise gets recorded and people listen to it. Like, because y y you call an artist, like, a fucking, like, EDM DJ, like, oh, he's an artist. Like, okay, but no. 
<laughs> Dalton Domino. Because he played that remix version of a Lady yeah, Gaga. Exactly. <laughs> Dalton Domino is a fucking artist. And there's a lot of, I mean, and, and I don't mean to say that he's so much more artist y, art, art, artistic, autistic, than yeah, other artists that we listen to. But he's another one of those people that the way that his songwriting is, is like, yeah, no, this dude's a straight up artist and his, like, his craft shows it. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely looking forward to more of Dalton Domino. I don't know if he's. Recording, I think, or not, because this album came out last year, I think? Yes, correct, last year. Yeah, so he probably doesn't have anything until next year, but... Yeah, also, full disclosure to you, sir, I may or may not be spiking the fuck out of my microphone, because it is a new microphone, and I don't know if my levels are normal. I just noticed it (laughs) earlier, and so... Eh, Sorry to everyone's ears. I usually have to adjust the uh, volumes on our mics, because they're usually not the same, so... There was one week I forgot to do it, and it went in, and you were talking loud, and I was pretty quiet, and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> <You> just <laughs> had to Hello! Shit out. Hey, yeah. Steve! Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck it. Hey, I'm not, I've, I'm not a professional audio engineer, so leave me alone! <laughs> Even though I did, I actually was looking at classes at Wobanzi. They have audio engineering, and I was just like, that would actually be kind of cool to do. Wah, Especially, wah, technical institution. Like, like uh, looking at... Like, just even recording our podcast and editing it, it's a pain in the ass to have to do, because mostly it's because I do it Thursday night when I'm trying to go to sleep, so it just keeps me up, but... Who sleeps? I fucking love editing shit. Like, when I did the previously on fucking ones for the saddest episodes... Right Dude, those were fucking stuff, hilarious. Like, I, j- I find that so much fun. Like, even when I... Back in middle school, I'd make little cartoons and I'd edit the music into it and everything. Like, it's so much fun. I would love to do that, but I don't want to have to spend money to go back to school for it. Which sucks, because I would love to do this shit, but... 